Hello, sixth grade. This is Mr. Kraft coming to you from my room over at Cal. In the last video, we talked about changing decimals to fractions and part of the process of reducing it to lowest terms after that um, involves having to know what goes into both the numerator and the denominator. So if I was reducing four tenths, I need to be able to see that two goes into four twice and two goes into 10 five times. If I'm reducing 15 over 90, I have to be able to see that five goes into both of these. Actually, 15 goes into both of them. So 15 goes into itself once and 15 goes into 90 six times. But with simpler things than that, the way you see that is with rules of divisibility. I've talked about this before. I've talked about it in class. Uh, you should have taken notes on this, but I thought that I would go ahead and make a video and upload it. That way, anytime you want to, you can watch this and hopefully it will help you. So if, if you have a number, how do you know what goes into it? So... The first rule is two, number, actually, let me clear this, rules of divisibility, rules of divisibility. So the first rule, two, ends in zero, two, four, six, eight. So if a number can be divided by two, which means it's an even number, it ends in zero, two, four, six, eight. So 370 is divisible by two. 371 is not, because it ends in zero, this one doesn't. It's not enough to say that it's divisible by two if it's even, because that's what even means. Even means divisible by two. So if you say a number is divisible by two if it's even, you're basically saying a number is divisible by two if it's divisible by two, and like, well, duh. But it has to end in these numbers. Okay. Uh, let's see. The second rule, three, sum of digits is divisible by three. So it doesn't matter for three what it ends in. It's the sum of the digits. So if you had um, 213, you would look at the digits, 2 plus 1 plus 3. 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 3 is 6. 3 will go into 6, so that can be divided by six, by 3, rather, I'm sorry. 213 is divisible by 3, and let's prove it. 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times 1 is 3, so 3 goes into a 71 times. But if you had 214, instead, 2 plus 1 plus 4 is 7, 3 will not go into it. And just to prove that that's true, you would do the same thing, and you'd end up with a remainder. So three, you want to look at the sum of its digits. Okay, three. Last two digits 
are a multiple of four. So if I had 316, the last two digits, four will go into 16. So I know four will go into the whole number. Four times seven is 28. Four times nine is 36. Ding, ding, ding. But if I had, say, 815, 4 will not go into 15, buzz, it's not going to work. So you would have a remainder, so that means it's not going to work. So, so 4 is like 2, kind of. But the thing with two is you look at the last one digit, and with four, you look at the last two digits. Okay, so five ends in zero or five. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. It's like counting by fives, people. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Uh, 5 is easy. It's not hard to tell if something's divisible by 5 or not. So I'm not even going to comment on that too much because it's not really necessary. 6. Even. And. Divisible. by by three. So if you looked at a number like 42, for example, obviously it's even, it ends in a two. Let's look at the digits. Four plus two is six. Three will go into six. So it's even check, and it's divisible by 3, check, and of course, we know that 6 times 7 is 42, so it fulfills both criteria. Now, 10 is even, but it's not divisible by 3, so buzz. On the other hand, 15, 1 plus 5, it's divisible by 3, but it's not even, buzz. So it has to be even and divisible by three. Both of those have to be true. Um, the next rule, there's not really a rule for seven. We've been doing a streak here, two, three, four, five, six. There's no rule for seven that I know of. I did not give you eight the last time. And honestly, you can pretty much deal without it. But I'll go ahead and give it to you just because I can. So notice a pattern. Two, the last one digit is divisible by two. Four, the last two digits are divisible by four. Or a multiple of four, same thing. Eight, the last three digits are divisible by eight or a multiple of eight. I guess I should probably be consistent and say it the same way. So, R multiple of 8. But the same basic principle. So, if I had 7,800 
800 is a multiple of 8. Um, I had 7,080. 80 is a multiple of 8, and the 0 doesn't count. So either one of these 8 would go into them. So uh, 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 7 is 56. 8 times 5 is 40. Boom. And to use this example, um, 8 times 8 is 64. 8 times 8 again is 64. And 8 times 5 is 40. Check. So I'm giving you the rule for eights, but I think probably you could get along without it and be just as well. So don't worry too much about that. Um, nine. Sum of digits is divisible by nine. So if you had something like 801, Eight plus zero plus one adds up to nine. So I know that nine will go into that. Proof. Eight times nine is 72. Nine times nine is 81. Bingo. So this is similar to three. Three and nine work the same way. But it's important to say if nine goes into it, three has to also. Because 9 is divisible by 3, the rule works that way. But if it's divisible by 3, 9 does not have to go into it. So if I said 15, 3 works, 1 plus 5 is 6, 9 does not. So all things divisible by 9 are divisible by 3, but not all things divisible by 3 are divisible by 9. It's like saying... All dogs are animals, but not all animals are dogs. So, and I've said this before, but. Last but not least, 10 ends in zero. People, I don't know that I can tell you any more than that. If you don't know that a number that ends in zero is divisible by 10, I cannot help you one bit if you don't know that. Um, that's about the easiest rule of divisibility there is. Okay, so these are the rules of divisibility. And I'm going to put a little star, a little asterisk, next to the six which means you don't really have to worry about that. If you don't want to remember the rule for the visibility of eight, uh, no biggie. But the rest of these you should know. Uh, I hope this is of help to you and all the fractional stuff you're doing. And I'll leave it at that. I'll talk to you later. Bye.